Good morning. Today we're looking at what should be section, example 6 out of section 3.1, just looking at how to do marginal functions efficiently in Excel. So we're not going to break new ground on what a marginal function is, just how to do it more effectively with Excel. So I'm going to start with a profit function that I've already typed in, and we're going to want to be able to produce the marginal revenue. The original way to do it is I simply do quick fill and I make sure that my values for Q are going up by one each time. And then when I want marginal revenue for Q plus one, well that's going to be equal to the marginal revenue at 1 minus the marginal revenue at 0. And so my marginal revenue is produced by looking at successive rows that are in my table. The problem with this is this only works if my table values are separated by 1. And I might decide I'd like to get a broader spectrum so I want these to be separated by 10 because I'm interested in looking what's happening from 0 to 50 and I don't want a really long page. In that case, what we had done is we had taken the function, copied it, pasted it in for revenue of Q plus 1, and everywhere where I had an A2, I replaced that by A2 minus 1, making sure to include parentheses there. A2 minus 1, we can see that we run into typing problems, and A2 should be A2 minus 1. And now the marginal revenue is going to be not the next column, but the next row over. I mean, not the next row, but the next column over. And so in this case, the marginal revenue is the next column, not the next row. I can quick fill, and this lets me do marginal revenues separated out by a distance. The problem with this method is if I have a complicated function, when I try to replace all the A2s by A2 minus 1, I find I make mistakes in typing, and I'd like to be able to just type the function once and then do quick fill. So the solution I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column and next to the column for Q I'm going to have Q plus 1 and that's an easy thing to define. It's the whatever Q was plus 1 and I can quick fill that. Now, with the magic of relative references, if I copy over, if revenue of Q is looking at column A, what's copied into D will look at column B. And so that takes care of making sure that I have the, the so that sets it up so that my revenue of Q plus 1, I only had to type the function once and I'm changing my reference rather than retyping it. This isn't required, but I find it's much less likely to cause problems from students. Thank you.